What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. This is the start of the Florida series. This is day one, the travel day, and I'm very excited. We're going to be doing a lot of pond fishing, bass fishing. I'm meeting up with some really cool people. I may also be going for Black Drum with John Lule, so hopefully that happens. I got the check from Follow the Action. I want to say big thank you to Follow the Action for sponsoring this whole trip, literally the whole seven day series. I couldn't be any more appreciative. So thank you guys so much for tuning in and stay tuned because this series is going to be lit. Here we go. We made it through security, grabbed a Corona. Every single time I go through security with this camera bag, they have to like check it like super thorough because of all the batteries and everything. And a few of them actually said like, like asked me what I'm doing and stuff. And I told them like whatever, like I'm doing YouTube full time and stuff like that. And a few of them actually subscribed on the spot, so that was pretty cool. But every single time they have to check my bag. People are looking at me crazy talking to myself with this camera. One last piss before we go. All right guys, so I just had like some parents come up to me and these kids, they saw like my suitcase with Follow the Action and like McGrath fishing all over it. They're literally watching my videos right now and just subscribed. I thought that was the coolest thing. Like their parents came up and they're like, they're showing us all your stuff, your Instagram, your YouTube. I don't know, I just thought that was super cool, but I'm about to board, so I'll show you guys a little bit of that and then I will see you guys in Florida. So here we go and stay tuned. Alrighty guys, we made it to Florida, and I didn't get a Chevy Silverado, I got a Dodge Ram, but I had the choices between Ford and Ram, I just chose Ram, my buddy is a Ram, so I just took a picture with these kids, I'll pop up a picture right here, I didn't film any of it, but that was so cool, I mean they noticed the McGrath fishing, they started watching my videos in the airport, and they're actually local, and they said that they've seen me on Instagram, like whatever, stuff like that, how's it going guys? And then, so we took a picture, but that was so awesome, so I'm gonna get on the road here, and I will see you guys there, I'm not gonna go to film much, I'm gonna be driving, and I have no idea what these roads are even in Florida, so guys, Guys, here we go. I am pumped. I'm ready to go. It is nine o'clock, so I'll get to my cousin's house at about 10. Stay tuned. Florida series just beginning. The whip is not too shabby. I'll take it. And there's a terrible smell coming from right there, and it literally smells like straight sewer shit. Oh my god, that's brutal. All right, I'm gonna get in the car and get the hell out of here. Here we go, guys. Guys, I made it. I'm to my cousin's. There's Sack. He was from the video from, he came from 3,000 miles to catch this fish, and he was also in some previous videos up in Minocqua, but I made it, I'm here, and me and him, what are we even gonna do tonight? Honestly, we're gonna watch the rest of the Bears game, because uh, I'm a Chicago fan myself, he's a bit of a Ooh. Packer fan, bitch. Pretty yeah, good. Bears are up right now, but like I said, I feel so good to be here and to be noticed, so, I don't know guys, it's just awesome, and this was like the travel day. I'm not really gonna pick up the camera for the rest of the night unless something like eventful happens, or like me or him start doing something funny or stupid, like I said, I'm gonna start including all of that. We do got a cool truck though for the week. Tonight. And it drove amazing, like honestly, I was super impressed, so you did call it. Their engines are real solid, they got, I mean, that one has a 5.7 Hemi in it. Boring! And I was trying to hook up the Bluetooth the whole time. I almost pulled over like every single time because they were like, can't connect while you're driving. Can't connect while you're driving. And every time I would stop, so I'd hit like a roundabout, I would stop, try and do it really quick and wouldn't get it. But guys, we're settling in tonight. I'm about to have a few beers. Like I said, I'm not gonna really pick up the camera much unless something eventful or funny happens. So if not, I will see you guys in the morning for the first day of fishing. Here we go. What's that one drink? It's like water, every girl is drinking it. White Claws. No, it's not that. It's like where you, uh, like every girl is drinking it. There's like Halloween costumes. It's like seltzered water. White Claws? No, it's not that. <laughs> All right guys, so we're at the Arby's drive-thru. It's 12.30 at night, Florida time. I'm gonna get the drive-thru person with the no, it's not that thing. Hi, um, yeah. <laughs> kind of worry. She probably wouldn't even respond if you talk like that. <laughs> I wouldn't. We're at Wisconsin, my brother. McGrath Crest. Oh, where's Smallmouth, Wisconsin? <laughs> um, five hours north of your asshole. <laughs> Oh, 
Excuse me, what's the thing with the, like it usually has cheese on it, like roast beef, and it's like comes with bread, what is that again? The beef potato? No, it's not that, it's like, it has like roast beef, bread, like, he told me about it. It's like roast beef or something. Yeah, that's what it is. The beef and cheddar. No. You got the roast beef with the cheddar cheese on it. No, it's not that. Well guys, welcome to Florida. It's the first day. It's 10 a.m. right now. I'm super tired. I didn't want to get up too early this morning because, like I said, I just settled in last night. I didn't really even get here until about 10 o'clock last night, and we were just kind of screwing around, doing some fun things, but today's the day. We're going to go out fishing a little bit. There's a weird bird swimming. That Florida sun feels literally amazing. We're going to go get some Chick-fil-A and then start the day. Here we go. guys so I just did a couple drone flights I wanted to get kind of the drone footage for the day it's two o'clock right now I fished a little bit this morning mostly off the shore I've heard from everyone that like kind of lives in Florida from like all the people I've talked to and then even like my cousin my uncle were saying the bite always gets better later in the day when in winter so 75 degrees is winter I'll take that any day, that's not winter to me. Like I said, I did some drone footage and now we're gonna switch to the chest. I am not gonna bring the cannon out there because I don't really trust that kayak, canoe, whatever the hell you wanna call it, well, a canoe. So we're gonna have the chest and then a few GoPros mounted in the canoe and hopefully we get a good bite today. And he also was saying that we can eat the crappie out of here. So, and there's ginormous crappie. I've caught him out of here and he's caught him. He actually just caught, I'll pop up a picture of the one that he just caught, I think like yesterday, right before I even got here. Yep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna catch a bunch of crappie later in the week and probably do a catch and cook. And then he's gonna do his favorite recipe. And then I'm gonna do my favorite recipe, hint the Cajun. So we're gonna have like a little contest there. That's gonna be fun. So here we go guys, let's start the day. We are in Florida. It is 70 degrees out, probably 73 right now because it was 75 earlier and it feels amazing. So let's go get on some fish now. It's not, it's not a big one, but it's a good one. It's a good Florida bass. I got him on a pad right now. It's like, do not grab the line. Do not grab the line. I think you got him out. Yeah, baby! First fish. First fish on the FTA net too, guys. Look at this. Really hope we got that sentence of you a couple seconds before. Yeah, I don't know if uh, we never get anything in these pads. No, I didn't. I had the GoPros off. I was just saying, I was like, dude, we never get anything in these pads. Let's, let's get out of here. Look, guys, look at this. First bass on the FTA net. Is that on, is this on me? Yep. That is a healthy fish, man. Red thing's looking at you, by the way. Look at that. My first Florida bass, guys. I came down all the way down here to get on these largies. I would say this is probably about two and a half. Yeah, that is a very healthy bass. Two and a half, I'd say. I like it, all right. See ya, thanks guy. My second video ever on the channel, fishing in alligator infested waters. I'll pop up like the little info thing. I actually fished here, caught some decent fish that day. But that was also my like second video that I ever filmed. That was uh, when FTA sponsored that first, that first Florida trip where we stayed at the Hard Rock, me and Pistol. You on? Oh, you're on. Rock. Well, why'd you bang it off this? I didn't mean to do that. You're good. That's a catch. All right, guys, he just had one. That was probably about a pound and a half, two pounds. Little, yeah, I actually just got him up to the boat, and he came off yeah, right he, as I grabbed him. He like, brought him up and like smacked the boat twice, but no big deal. We're in a canoe. It's hard. Is it a fish? Yeah. Oh, sh <laughs> I don't know why I had the pull like that. I could have, you know, can't function on this canoe. So this is my second fish. Not too shabby. Got in the FTA net. I was throwing that craw for a while, no bites, nothing. And probably about five minutes and throwing in the net again. Another fish. FTA net's available in 2020, guys. They're almost here. I can't see it. Hold your tip up. There we go. Damn, that's not a bad one. Guys, look at that. Decent sized bass on the FTA net. Look. FTA net, baby. Green pumpkin. Here you go. Yeah. So we are moving down this small little channel. We went down that whole shoreline right there to the left. And then now we are moving into this channel in this back cove. And I've always had some pretty good luck in this back cove. So here we go. Still. Here we go. 
funniest, even though that's a I'm the net, no doubt. All the fish in here are super healthy. Nice, are you on? Yep. I got that on camera. Let's try and double up. They're definitely stacked in this corner right now. Come on, dude, control your Get him in. Dude, that was back to back to back fish. I just lost that first one. There you go. Nice job, dude. We're using the chartreuse hook with a green pumpkin, purple grape flake. This is all I used all spring long and they slay bass. FTA bait, guys, they're gonna be ready in 2020 and just get ready, because if you guys don't buy them, I'm gonna buy them out. Yo, dude, I better not get smacked in the fucking head. I'm gonna hide behind you. How many fish do we have so far, four? We'll actually land it. I don't know, I don't really count the ones that don't. Okay, well, I think we've definitely determined the fish are shallow in your lake. Dude, there are some weird ass bugs in this place. On the road again. About a half hour since our last fish, right when we came through that channel, we caught three coming into that channel. Yeah, we nailed like three back to back to back. It would have been four, but I lost that one. All right, guys, this is my fourth of the day, my fourth bass. Thanks for filming, sack. The GoPro just took a tumble, but right when I turned it off, it hit. And here it is. So this is like the afternoon bite. It is 4:30. Here we go. I didn't get that, but okay, so he just hooked on like probably about a two, two and a half pounder, jumped out of the water, and then uh, hooked Sean. Right the That's the third one I've lost right at the boat. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, did you just see that? Yeah, that was huge, that was a gar, dude, that was huge, guys, we just saw like a three, four foot gar, that thing was huge, dude, that was crazy, that thing was big. No, it's not bad. This is my fifth one of the day. First day, my fifth one. Here we go. <gasps> dude, dude, it jumped just like three feet in the air. Oh my God. <gasps> yeah, look at the ripple. Look at the ripple. Yeah, Something big's there too. Guys, this bass just jumped like three, four feet out of the water and it's ginormous. It's running. That thing was like seven pounds. I'm not making any of this stuff up too. What I'm saying like that gar, this fish jumping. I mean, Florida is a crazy place to fish. That's like the highest I've ever seen a bass jump. That was definitely getting chased. Cause like right behind the bass, there was like a giant ripple. It had to be that gar or something, or a gar. Six on, six on. Oh my god, dude, it's a bowfish. What? It's a bowfin. Oh man. That's a catfish. Yeah, that's a cat. All right guys, Sack just caught a decent sized catfish. These neds catch everything. We have a total of about 10 fish today so far. Awesome first day. And this is a decent sized cat, so but we're not. The green pumpkin, purple grape flake, available soon on followtheaction.com. Nice. Good job. Oh, guys, my chest GoPro is dead. Our legs are dead after yeah, my ass is so sore. I've been sitting here, but you know, today was an awesome first day. This isn't the official outro because we are not done yet, but so far for the we're, first day. We're right here, though. We're getting close. Yeah, we're literally right by his house, so. Give you a quick little sex on again. Tiny little bass, but you know, I got—I don't even know how many fish we have. I'm gonna have to go back to the footage. This is definitely the tenth, and <laughs> you've lost guess. three, and I've oh, lost two. Awesome. So we've lost five bass total today. But today has been fun. I've caused a decent amount of fish. My best being about two and a half, three pounds. That first one, pretty much my first cast with the net. Oh, somebody just jumped right here. Oh, hey, crappie. You know, we're about to go in any second. The sun's going down, and then we're gonna go get some dinner. So see you guys inside. <laughs> guys we are done and back for the day i just showered cleaned up what an awesome first day the first day of fishing yesterday was like the travel day but me and Seth, we got spoiled out there we caught about 10 to 12 bass so i'm gonna go through all the footage and then he caught a catfish and we also saw like two giant gar but i didn't really get them on film but overall what an awesome first day caught some good bass my biggest was like two and a half to three pounds so 
Not too shabby, but I'm looking forward to the morning. We're gonna get up at about 6.30 a.m. and then head back out there. And then later on in the week, we're gonna be going out with John Lule, either for Black Drum or Red Drum and Speckle Trout. I'm not sure. We're just playing it by ear with John Lule. He's gonna let us know like what's the best, what's gonna be the best for filming, and we'll go from there. But I wanna say thank you to the sponsor of this video and the sponsor of this entire series. Being able to do this for a full-time job, to go down to Florida, film an awesome seven-day series, I wanna say thank you to Follow the Action. Follow the Action is an outdoor apparel company who sells fishing and hunting gear. They're gonna have baits available in 2020. All our fish today were caught on Follow the Action baits, so I think you guys are really gonna like them. But overall, what an awesome day. I mean, I had so much fun out there, and I think we got spoiled for the first day, so hopefully tomorrow is even half as good as today, and we got a lot of cool things this trip. So first day in the books, and I would say it's a big check. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to see the rest of the Florida series. More videos are gonna be coming out as fast as I can, as fast as I can edit it. So I gotta edit it, send it over to Barker, and then the magic happens through Barker. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in the next episode. It's 7 a.m. and I'm tired as What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. My name is Tommy McGrath. For those who are new to the channel, welcome. It is 7 a.m. I'm getting ready to go out on the canoe. I got all my GoPros mounted. My cousin woke me up and he's like, hey, you ready to go fishing? Literally got up like right away, brushed my teeth, got all ready, already mounted the GoPros in the boat and everything. As I'm waiting for him out by the boat, he is not coming out. I'm just like, what the hell? So I go up to his room. He's already sleeping. I'm like, hey, aren't you coming out? He's like, no, I was just kidding. He was definitely not kidding because he woke me up, seemed wide awake. So I don't know what the hell he's doing, but he's already sleeping. So I'm gonna go on a solo mission out there trying to find the large mouth. I got my hog hunter hat on, hog hunter hoodie, and then my hog hunter shirt. It's gonna be about like 79 degrees a day, but right now it's probably about 69. But yeah, you guys get the point. So I'm gonna leave the cannon inside and then I'm gonna switch to all the GoPros out there because I don't wanna bring the cannon on the canoe and we will check back in with you guys soon. So hopefully we get on some fish. Stay tuned. start working this pretty much cove inlet in a way whatever you want to call it where we kind of started the first day and we're just going to drift through we don't got any wind right now i gotta be quiet because i just had one on it wasn't too big probably about a two pounder and i set the hook and it popped off right as it jumped Damn it. That would have been the first fish of the day. I am just still butthurt that I messed up that hook set. I tried pulling to the side and I should have went straight up. <sighs> I feel like that's like the bad mojo. If I caught one there, it would have been glorious. But I failed. I told my Florida fishermen what is better for fishing lakes morning or afternoon or midday during winter. What the f Part of me feels like I should switch from the net, but the net did so good yesterday. So again, maybe all those people who told me that the afternoon bite slash midday is better because it gets warmer, but I mean, I don't know. Literally right when I turn the camera off, I get another one, it jumps and I lose it again. My second one of the day, and I lost it, and I lost two. I'm just like not used to fishing in a canoe, like I said, I'm used to fishing on a bass boat where you have more leverage, it's just like you have like no leverage, but whatever, I'm not going to use it as an excuse, we did good yesterday, but I'm just sick of losing fish, I need one, I need one here.
because I've caught fish on this exact jig. Here, this is a Northwear jig. So I'm gonna give this a try. I've lost two fish in the net so far. It's killing my mojo. I'm like super tired. Like I said, I just cannot get over how tired I am. I have a monster even. I don't know what's going on. So I'm working this Northward Jigs right now. It is the white one. It's all hand tied, wire tied, and no trailer needed with this because it's pretty much like a feather that gives it the best action. I'm pretty sure this is a three eight ounce, I want to believe. I don't really know, but I've caught fish on this exact jig here. I've lost two in the net so far. At least the fish are biting, and hopefully I can get a big one. It pays off, but the action on this is amazing. The first fish of the day, finally lost two, finally got one, a little nice crappie, get a good release, here we go. God dang, I missed another bass. <sighs> Guys, that is the third bass I lost today. All been about the same size, right around two pounds, and now I'm snagged on a giant ass log. Losing fish is the worst feeling, especially like decent sized ones too. Like these aren't small bass that I'm losing. Solid two, three pounds. That one, that one was probably pushing two and a half, three pounds. What can you do? So I got one crappie and three missed bass. Nice. All right, guys, I have to get these sweatpants off. I am dying. It's probably like 70 something degrees out now. And a quick time check for you. It is 1021. That's not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if I just suck or what the deal is, but I just lost my fourth bass and another good one. That one was like probably three pounds. God, so annoying. Today's not my day. Today's just not my day at all. Four, two to three pound bass lost. What's happening is I'm also like, when I'm hooking these bass, I don't even know they're on my line because I'm usually moving the boat. So like I have straight slack. So by the time I set it like right next to the boat, so I don't know if I'm getting a good enough hook set or what the deal is. Please, please don't come off. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. This is like a three pounder. This is like a three pounder. This is my nicest one yet out of here, probably. That's a solid three, three and a half right there. That is my best fish yet on the Florida series. That's a Florida nice one. That's a Florida pig. Look at the belly on that. Oh yes, oh yes. Cast a little bit farther away. Got a nice hook set on this. What a good fish, look at that. Florida bass at its finest. A nice one. Let's go guys, let's go. I needed that, I needed that so bad. And I finally did it. I have missed four fish, four nice ones. Actually, 
That was the biggest one for sure. And that was about three pounds. So I'd say all those other ones were about two, two and a half, but they were all chunky. So it was super hard to tell. Thank God I just nailed that one. I needed that so bad. Came from the FTA Ned too. And what I did there, instead of getting close to the shoreline, now I'm pretty much just staying off it and casting as far as I can in. So like when I feel a bite, I can really set it because before I'm just kind of like, like kind of almost like not kitty cornered, but just like not enough space. So I feel like I'm just like losing fish and not getting enough. I'm not getting a good enough hook set and as well as, oh. And I'm just also not used to fishing out of a canoe. So this is definitely new to me, but oh man, a crappie and a three pound bass landed so far. Miss four decent bass. Here we go, guys. Here we go. All right, we got some runoff water right here. So I'm fishing like right outside of it. I'm hoping some fish will be here because of that runoff water. Someone just jumped. Third bass of the day, not too shabby. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Missed four, caught three, and a crappie. Fourth fish of the day. I will take that. Oh, and of course, my chest was dead, but hopefully, you guys can see me out here. Hi, my name is Tommy McGrath. If you guys want to buy Follow the Action products, go to followtheaction.com, use my promo code McGrathFish, and you will not get these sunglasses. <laughs> <sighs> Alrighty guys, so the moral of the story of what happened out there is I lost four in a row Literally was just I don't know I was just so tired and I'm not used to fishing from canoes, but no big deal I finished the day strong. I ended up with three bass and a crappie and that was a morning session I was probably out from about 7 a.m. And I came in at about noon So then I took about a two-hour nap grabbed some food and now we're gonna head back out But losing those four in a row literally drove me crazy. They're about two two and a half But the best fish I caught all day was probably about three pounds and I did not lose that when I caught it So we're gonna head back out Hopefully this afternoon bite picks up because the morning fishing was absolutely great The weather's gonna stay steady over the next few days So it should only be getting better and better every time and I just feel a lot more alive right now I could barely talk on video this morning and just like I didn't even really know what to say like again I was just so tired I was only on like four hours of sleep I was up editing like all night long and then I got up at about 6 6 30 by the time I got ready got out but yeah you guys get the point so I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna go to the chest and then we're gonna go back out and try and get some fish it is overcast now it is not sunny and it's gonna be overcast the rest of the night a little bit windy so it's gonna be pretty hard to control the canoe again but my cousin's coming with me this time so hopefully that will help I will catch you guys on the chest <laughs> Guys, the first bass, Jill, it's not even on me. Yes, it is. The first bass of the afternoon. Let's see if I can get in without losing this one. I don't know what to do with this rope. Oh my god, all this water from the back is coming up. All right, guys, this is my fourth bass today, but the first one back out. Fifth? Yeah, you got four this morning. Yeah, so I've lost four caught four so this might be my fourth or fifth i gotta go through the footage but caught a crappie and this is the first one of the afternoon after that nap in chick-fil-a so we're gonna get a nice release here we go thanks to jill for filming don't tip the canoe all right guys sacks on jill's filming don't tip oh it's a nice crappie it is a nice crappie nice dude here we go oh man that's a slab All right, guys, it's kind of nice crappie. Look at that slab. This is my second crappie of the day. Probably close to another eight, nine fish day. Would add more if I didn't lose those four. Oh, he's gonna go. He 
here I go again on my own. Here I go again on my fucking own. I feel like this is like my, my outro spot. Bright light, perfect spot, still outside. Anyways. The main bait today, again, was the Ned Rig, so it feels pretty good to be able to come down to Florida, use the Follow the Action Ned Rig, which will be available in 2020, and it is coming, guys. It is so close. It's almost here, and that is going to do it for the day. We ended the day with, I lost four bass today. I caught four, and I think I caught a crappie, and then as well for the afternoon session when we went back out, I think I ended up with two more crappie, like I said. I kind of forgot, but either way, pretty good day. Not a bad day fishing at all, so hopefully the bite continues like this. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, a guy on Instagram, I'll pop up his message if I can find it said that the Florida bite has been getting a little bit slow so I don't know that could just be his area I really hope that doesn't happen or else I'm screwed but yeah fishing's fishing that's why they call it fishing and hopefully the bite will only continue so thank you guys so much for watching another episode of McGrath Fishing be sure to hit that like button subscribe and we are out brand new Ned brand new world What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. It is officially day number four of Florida. Today is Sunday. I stayed up super late last night because I wanted to get the footage over to Barker as quick as I could from day one and two. But I watched the Packers get the dub this morning. Thank God. But now we're gonna go out and try and catch some fish. So I'm going on a solo mission and hopefully I can catch a few good bass and some crappie too. So it's the afternoon session. So hopefully it will be just as good. I'm a little bit butthurt that I missed the morning today. But again, I was up super late editing, had to get the footage over. I want the videos out quick. So here we are. It's pretty much like 3.30, 4 o'clock. I'm not even really sure, but hopefully we can go get on some bass. Let's go. So guys, the reason why I'm using the net down here, well, one, it's working, and two, these fish are actually staging for pre-spawn. These fish are gonna be spawning soon in Florida from what I've heard. The amount of fish that jump on this lake is insane. Like everywhere you turn your head, there's always like a crappie, something small bust in. Something is moving towards me and it looks like a snake. Oh my God, it is a snake. What the hell? Yeah, baby that hit out of nowhere not too shabby the first bass that thing literally hit it like when i was reeling it in not too bad first fish of the day get a good release and he gone guys that first catch was so cool i literally cast it like right off that point where there's like this rock and like, i kind of got too close to this log so i started like ripping it in like it, like blew it up right on the surface what an awesome day. Green Bay wins. They are 10 and three. I know you guys don't really care about that, but it made my day. And first fish on. I feel like Florida is like Jurassic Park. Bunch of weird animals, giant birds. Florida's lit though. I love fishing it. I'm literally doing the same technique I've done all spring long. Casting in, moving it out right away, just in case there's cover. And then just bouncing along the bottom. I'm definitely moving quicker than I normally would, only because of all the, like the wood cover and stuff, to stuff to get snagged on. Little turtle. put your lure and you leave that spot and the fish jumps right there. Oh. 
Oh, really nice bite. Really, 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 really nice bite. Probably just scared him off after that one. See, look, every time I'm flipping. Oh, oh, that's a better fish. There we go. This is probably my biggest so far of the trip. And it's not that big, but uh, maybe that first one the first day, but another fish. Thank God, thank God, thank God. Oh, beautiful fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Number two for the night. I got that one probably super shallow. That had to be like in a foot of water, if that. I said, I said I got a really good bite. And as I was describing, every time I flip and I get a good bite, it's like, I feel like I'm like too close. It's hard. But on that one, I kind of, like, I didn't know it was going to bite again, but I was ready for that bite. So I was able to set that one pretty good. It's the unexpected bites when I'm flipping that get me from this canoe. There's one. Damn it, it was a big crappie. It was a big crappie. Huge crappie. That is how they play. Oh. Kenzie, it's not like Kenzie's like growling and biting him. All right, so when I was on the phone with Meg right there, I had a nice hit when I cast it up on that shoreline. Kind of felt like a crappie bite, but I lost it either way, no matter what it was. Cool. Yo. Hey, are you out on the lake? Yeah, um, I'm thinking. Okay. All right, well, I'm thinking we might want to go to ponds. This is brutal out here. All right, guys, this is my cousin Jill. She's going to help me film, but we're going to go to a few ponds because this is super brutal right now. So, so far on the day, I have two pretty decent bass. Not too big, not too small. And then I lost a monster crappie, which probably would have been my PB crappie, but that's the name of the game, right? Probably gonna head in. It is only about 5, 5.30ish, I think 5.30. I need to go get some food, because I am starving. Starving, Marv, I'm coming at you. fish with the back of my truck. I have no idea where we even are right now. No idea what I'm fishing, no idea what's in here. That'd be insane if I caught something. I feel like there would definitely be some good fish in here. Yeah, Is anyone else getting mauled by bugs? No. See it, see it? What do you think that is in here? I don't know, I guess we'll find out if you catch it. Alright guys, this is going to do it for day four. Day four wasn't really action packed, so I'm going to roll day four into day five, which would be Monday. Today was Sunday. I watched the Green Bay game at one. I couldn't give that up, unfortunately. I know I'm in Florida, but I had to watch my team, and they won, thank God. So, we went out, we caught two bass. I lost my personal best crappie, and I was pretty bummed about it, but again, I was only out for about an hour, and I was able to come away with two nice fish, but I really want to get a Florida tank. So, I'm still going to try and meet up with Flat Cool Fishing. We're trying to work stuff out for tomorrow, which would be Monday. I'm going to do my best, but with like these surprise charters from my uncle, and then the John Lule charter on Tuesday, just like really chaotic, and I'm just trying to figure it all out. So, we're we're just gonna play it by ear, take it day by day. And the plan for tomorrow, we're gonna get out super early. We're gonna try and get on these fish. And then later on, after the morning session, which will be about 11, I'm gonna try and go to different spots. We're gonna go around, possibly golf courses, other places to try and find some big bass. So I think tomorrow's gonna be pretty cool. I will see you guys in the morning and here we go. You know the place like where you usually go to and they cook all the food right in front of you? It's usually like, you know, a Japanese something. Rachi? No, it's not that. They flip an egg at you, broccoli in your mouth.
All right, guys, we just picked up minnows and we got some food, so we're gonna head back and then hit the lake. I am excited to get on these fish. I got live bait because I really want to try and get a ginormous Florida bass, and today's a perfect day for it. It's like 80 degrees out, so we're gonna go with the live bait technique and hopefully they'll get it done. We got bait, got food, and now we're gonna head back and then uh, hit the lake. See you guys there. locations because some asshole wants to leaf blow his yard with no leaves in it. I just want to get a big Florida bass. That is my goal. So I switched to live bait. They wanted nothing to do with the Ned yesterday. Senkos, crankbaits, lipless crank, jerk baits. The bite was completely off yesterday. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. Someone's got it. Someone's got it. Take it. Take it under. Take it under. Get that one. Ooh, dang. That's a nice crappie. All right, guys, that's a crappie. I'm going to have to get this hook out, but decent fish. All right, guys, so that first crappie, try getting the hook out. The hook literally broke, so glad I have quality hooks with me. So we're going to go with the chartreuse Ned hook with a bobber for the live bait, and then I have Jill casting the net. <gasps> Jill's on. Jill's on, and my bobber just flew down. It looks like you got a crappie on that thing. Oh, that's a nice size crappie. Hell yeah. All right, here, just swing it back here. Guys, Jill just caught this in the net, the second crappie of the day, and the midday bite continues. Could you imagine if you caught a duck? Ooh, that was a nice bass. Take one down, pass it around. 46 bottles of beer in the wall. All right, Jill, let's go in. I need to change this hook, it's not working. What would you do if a croc jumped in our boat? jump out no. guys it is hot as hell out here i got some new hooks sinkers and we are ready to go so i'm gonna have jill cast that ned and then i'm gonna keep going for live bait only because i really want to get a florida tank and i think my best chances might be using a big shiner hopefully i can get it done uh, got one. you got one yeah. oh nice crappie swing it back here Nice, Jill. Jill's second fish of the day, another decent crappie. And I don't think we're gonna do a crappie catch and cook because I don't think it's too safe <laughs> to eat these crappie out of this lake. Come on, one bass, give me one chunk. See, this isn't gonna be the time something smacks and watch my rod just fly out of the boat. <laughs> I I got one. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, it's a nice, Crappie, holy! Oh, I'm going in the net. This is this is, is that this, than that's the first one? huge. Yeah, this is a good one. Guys, look at this crappie Jill just caught. I am definitely switching to the net. I'd rather have a picture with that. Look at that. Huge. All right, guys. So here's the plan. I'm cutting that bobber off because it's not doing anything for me. Jillian's caught like three fish to my one, right? Yeah. So we have a total of four fish, all being crappie. I went, like I said, I went with the live bait because I really wanted to try and like get like a super we big bass. Yeah, no, I have a decent amount of minnows left, so. Wow. Good fish. I literally just cast in there. If you catch your crappie out of there, I'm gonna be so pissed. Huh? Keep reeling. You got a, you got a nice bass. Oh my god. Guys, I'm getting... Bring it here, bring it here. Yeah, you shouldn't have lifted your rod up like that. Joe just had a super nice bass on, on the net. Guys, that was a solid three and a half, four pound, four pound fish right there. 
all being done in the net. Guys, I'm getting outslayed by Jill. If she would have caught that bass, I don't know what I would have done, but at least we're catching fish out here. All right, guys, so we just left the lake. We caught, well, Jill caught three crappie. I had one, and then Jill lost a really nice bass, probably three to four pound range. Definitely one of the bigger bass I've seen out of here so far. There are tanks out there, but the bite, I mean, I was throwing minnows all day, and usually it absolutely slays the bass. So we're going to move down and go fish off this one dock, actually on the other side of their lake. So we decided not to paddle. We're going to get in the truck, and hopefully we can get some bass. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so we got to this pier spot, but there's people here and it doesn't really seem like a good place to fish. So we're gonna explore down and go to the spot I was fishing of out of my truck actually. It's like down this one road. We're gonna head there. The fishing has been absolutely brutal today, but we're gonna keep going with it and hopefully we can find some fish. Let's do it. All right guys, we are at a new spot. I don't even actually really know what this is. I don't know if Jillian knows either, but it's not the intercoastal. It's just like a long, pretty much a river. And then there's a bunch of water over there as well. So we're gonna try and catch some fish here. It's been super slow today. It was super slow the past two days. So maybe this can change our luck around, but we're gonna keep trying spots like up and down this road. So there's gonna be a lot of traffic, but we're gonna make do with what we have. All right, well guys, that was spot number 4016 and everything's jumping in every place we go, but the bite has been real today. So we're gonna go to one last spot and then head back. Well guys, that's gonna do it for the day. I only had one fish all day long, so today was definitely a struggle bus. We moved all around. We went to different spots. We literally probably went to four or five different spots and I was not able to get it done. I mean, we tried brand new spots. We we're in like the Tomoka State Park, stuff like that, like this Tomoka Basin. We tried, we gave it our best, but I'm still gonna give it a send on this lake tomorrow. Unfortunately, John Lou Lake canceled because the fishing was not good. Being a great guide he is, he canceled the trip because he said he doesn't think it's worth it, that we're not gonna catch anything. So much respect to John Lule for that and a little bit bummed, but it's okay because I'm going back to Florida, Florida Keys in January and we'll be taking charters every single day, but this is part of fishing. Sometimes it's really good, sometimes it's slow and it happens. Overall, we are not gonna give up. Tomorrow's my last full day to fish. I leave on Thursday, so I'm gonna still go out in the same lake. You guys might think a lot of these videos are gonna be pretty similar in the canoe and I get it. Yes, they're gonna be similar, but I wanna be on that grind for that one big Florida bass. I know that there's multiple big bass out there. My uncle has caught them, my cousins caught them. I really just want one, one big bass. So I'm not gonna give up. I'm gonna go back out in the canoe and fish this same lake. I don't wanna give up on this lake. This lake is pretty big. Hopefully that one big one comes tomorrow, but I also just kinda wanted to give you guys like a heads up. That's why these videos are so similar because I had two chargers get canceled, which again, no big deal. And thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and we're out. What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of McGrath Fishing. We are not gonna be fishing today. Today is my last day of the Florida series and I wanted to do a catch and cook all week. I kind of got some more information and we probably should not be eating the fish out of this lake. And then we had a charter get canceled and then we had a charter say they didn't want to take us out because you guys can't really tell, but it's super windy today and it's gonna be raining all day long. So the ocean charter got canceled. We were gonna do a catch and cook with the ocean fish that we caught, but because that got canceled, unfortunately we're not able to make the charters work this time around, but we're gonna make something better. We're gonna go to the local seafood. I don't even know what, what is it even called we're gonna go to halls it's a seafood market they have amazing fish there it's usually fresh caught me and jill are gonna go there we're gonna buy some fish and cook it and then we're gonna have like a little challenge between the two of us so that's what we're gonna be doing today i've been dying for fresh fish and we're gonna get it done this way so tune in and here we go So guys, before we kind of get into the, the thick of this video today, I want to say thank you to Follow the Action for sponsoring this entire trip. This has literally been an awesome trip, a one week trip. I'm going back down in the Keys in January, probably mid January. This guy drives like shit. Again, I just want to say thank you to Follow the Action for truly making a dream come true. This is, I cannot ask for a better job. To literally sponsor me, set me down in Florida to fish for a week and film videos is, 
amazing. So guys, go to followtheaction.com. They have fishing gear, hunting gear. They have baits available in 2020 that is coming soon. They're just an awesome company, guys. Just go check them out and get in touch with them. They have pro staff applications on their website. If you guys ever want to join the team, be part of the team, fill out an application on followtheaction.com. If you guys want to buy anything, use promo code McGrathFish to save 15% on your order. 15% on everything on followtheaction.com. MCG or ETH FISH. So we are going to the Hall's place as a seafood market. Always fresh caught fish there. So guys, if you can't catch a fish yourself, just go buy it. So that's what we're gonna do today. I haven't really decided on what me and Jill are even getting because me and Jill are gonna do like the cook off. Oh, the shell's right there. We need to hit that shell. You're gonna get a gas <laughs> three lights. Guys, we need when to get gas in this truck. Up the Volkswagen's ass. Yeah, and this guy's up my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's up each other's asses. Where's Hall's? That way. <laughs> yeah, that way. Oh, yeah, that way. Pick up the Kanye. All right, guys, we gotta get the special ingredients. The sauces, the spices. Guys, the goat. I'm, win I'm winning it all with this. I'm gonna win it all. She's scared. She's scared that I'm gonna win uh, this all. I literally went to a culinary school. Your class your ass. Yeah, no, she, she actually knows how to cook. She literally cooks for a living. But you can't beat Tony's. So guys, we were talking about like how we're cooking the fish. Mine, I'm gonna do what you guys have seen me do all the time on Catch and Cooks. So I'm gonna keep it simple. I know it's saltwater fish that we're probably gonna be eating, but Tony's, you can't go wrong with Tony's. Oh, cool, it's snack pack. Where's my snack pack? You've got a banana, you don't need no snack pack. You know I like snack pack. Why can't you just give me a snack pack? All right guys, we're gonna go a little tartar sauce for a little dipping action. I'm gonna go with the corn for the side. All right, guys, so I'm going with the Cajun seasoning, a little tartar sauce for dipping, and then we're gonna go fresh corn for the side. So Jill's doing potatoes. Um, me and Jill obviously know what we're doing, but the people who are gonna be eating it don't know whose is gonna be whose. So it's gonna be a cooking challenge with fresh saltwater fish. Let's go. Oh shit, okay, I'm sorry. We're just filming a video. So if it is okay though, if I post it, just don't put the logo in it. Okay. I appreciate it. All right guys, so as I was picking up everything that I needed for the challenge, they told me to stop filming there that I had to get permission. I'm not gonna even say the name of the grocery store because there is no point, but he was super respectful, so I appreciate it. And he just kind of said like, yeah, you need permission, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, if you could put the camera away, he's like, I'd appreciate it. That is literally the first time ever that I've been told to stop filming like anywhere in a public place. So now we're gonna go pick out the fresh fish and hopefully we can at least film in there because I didn't go that well. Let's go to the next place. Uh, <laughs> I literally got that. All right, guys, so we just left Hall Seafood. I went with the Mahi Mahi and Jill went with the Cod. So it's the Cod versus Mahi Mahi. Sack, my cousin, Mary Kate, and Molly. Uh, all part of the family cousins, but they're gonna be the judges. They're not gonna know which is which whose is whose But we are gonna tell them what the fish are or maybe we won't because yeah He'll probably it's know that I went with mahi mahi. Yeah. Because I always get it. Just be like, here you go. What is? Yeah, it? we'll just yeah. So I guess what we're gonna do, we're just gonna like cook everything, and then we'll let them like decide what's better. So here we go, Joe. Joe, what recipe are you going with? Beer batter. That's that's gonna be your maiden voyage. Yep. For the win. All right, guys. So this is the side that I chose to kind of freshen things up. Got to go with the corn. And Jillian's side is seasoned fries, but we're not gonna put it in our main dish because Molly's sitting up here and she's gonna be one of the judges. So she has no idea what kind of fish we're doing, but now she knows the side. So yeah, we're not gonna like put the plate together. We will possibly for Danny and Mary Kate. So like the presentation value, but for Molly, it's just gonna be taste. And she doesn't even like fish, so might not even count. All right guys, so this is Jill's technique. She's going with the, the beer batter. I am going with the good old butter in the pan with the special spice. You let the butter melt, put the Cajun in there. So butter melt, Cajun in there. Let it get to like a, not like a boil, but just like a, a rumbling, tumbling. No way. What? Fat slab. <laughs> nice, a nice good fat slab. All right, so I made four quarters. Oh my God, it's alive. <laughs> oh, that's going on my video. You want to bet? Okay, Molly definitely can't be a judge now because yeah, you know yeah. the exact what's going on. I don't on. know what the hell is going on. All right, guys, Jill's got hers going, and I'm melting the butter on mine. 
Slow and steady wins a race. That turtle always wins. Hurry up. Shut up! Squeezing the lemon on the fish really brought the taste out. What'd you say? <laughs> I'm gonna take this competition all the way home. Joe, you are in deep, deep sh Guys, look at this. How good this looks. Joe's going with the fry technique. I'm going with the pan technique. All right, guys, my finished dish. Oh, I thought you said Jen did it. I thought you said Jen did it. I think you said that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to go get sack. And we're going to get our first job. All right, so try a piece of- Is that of another thing? Oh, don't worry about it. Just try the fish. I'm good at fish. It's for sure. It's harder. Um, Come on. Not bad, pretty good. A little undercooked, but good flavor. Half raw. <laughs> Got a little lemon presentation, it's nice. <laughs> Don't really worry about the presentation for either because there's also corn to go with mine and fries to go with Jill's. It's pretty good. That one, 20 for Trump. Really? Oh yeah, big time. No, he didn't. He honestly didn't. That's I told him both of them were we weren't doing any fried. Really good. All right, so now that now that you tried it, Sack picked mine. I did the Cajun, mm -hmm. and then Jill did the fried. The but fried this is, is good. cod. It to be thin. This is cod, and that's mahi mahi. So those are the fish mm -hmm. that we chose. That makes sense. I'm a big mahi fan, so. Jill's trying mine. I'll try a little of hers. Good. It's actually good. way better than I thought it was actually gonna be. Cause I'm not a big fan of like fish breaded. I like more like that style, but this is good. It's really good. I'm obsessed with this. I am the champion so far. The season does it again. Molly, let's get an opinion from someone who doesn't even like fish. The fish is so good. I feel bad for the guy who edits your things. I really hate fish. All right, try a little piece. You're shaking. I hate fish. Swallow it. I know, I couldn't eat hers either. <laughs> Even Try that like bad. A piece, the one by the lemon. Yeah. I'm quitting this. I'm quitting this family. <laughs> I beat the chef in her own house. Yours is actually pretty good. Like, for, like hating fish, I'd eat it. Fuck this bullshit. Do you hear that? No. She doesn't even like fish, and she chose the Cajun. I told you, the Cajun is gonna get it done. Nobody can res resist the Cajun. I took it home. We're gonna fish and does it again, guys. I can't be beat. You guys like Cohen? <laughs> Hi. My name is Tommy McGrath. For all those fishermen and hunters who are watching this video right now, before you click off, head over to followtheaction.com. They have everything from hunting to fishing apparel, largemouth, smallmouth, crappie, walleye, trophy buck, black bear, turkey, and a few others, northern pike, and many more new designs to come. Follow the Action sponsors me full time to do this for a full time job. They're an awesome apparel company, they're awesome people. So head over to followtheaction.com, use my promo code McGrathFish to save 15% off on your order. Thank you for watching this message. All right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I ended up winning and I actually didn't think I was going to because Jillian is a great cook, honestly, she really is. I think she would've won if she did the oven where she wrapped it in tin foil, put some lemons in there, but that's just me. So the Mahi Mahi got it done. I really hope you guys enjoy this type of video and that is gonna do it for the entire Florida series. This entire trip was sponsored by Follow the Action. All right, Jillian's making me laugh, so I'm gonna end it here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this entire series. Thank you so much for Follow the Action for once again booking me another trip. We're going back to the Keys in Florida for another Florida series. It's probably gonna have a different name, but we'll get into that when January comes. Guys, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Peace.